Hi again. Today's activity, we're going to continue to work on sequencing the plot or the events that happen in a story. Today, we are going to work with the story of the wolf and the seven little kids. So once again, I've got my sheet that has the different images or the pictures of the parts of the plot that take place. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut very carefully on the lines to cut out each of my pictures. Then I'm going to look at the pictures and I'm going to think back to the story and I'm gonna describe what's happening in the story to see which order the picture should happen in. Now I make sure that when I am through, my garbage goes into the trash. We would hate for mom or dad to have to pick up after us. We wanna make sure that we're keeping all of our stuff neat and tidy. So as I'm working on cutting out the plot, the plot is it where the story takes place or the events that happen in the story. Did you say that the plot is the events that happen in the story? If you did, you have been listening and remembering our different parts of a story. The characters, who are the characters in a story? Did you say that the characters are the people or the animals that the story is about? All right. So I've got all of my pictures, all of the parts of the story cut out. I have four of them. One, two, three, and four. So I'm just going to pick one up. And the first picture shows the mother goat and her seven little kids. And mom is getting ready to leave. Did that happen at the beginning, middle, or end of the story? You're right. It happened at the beginning. That happened to be the very first thing that happened. So I'm using tape to put it onto my paper. Remember, we always start our story. We read from left to right and top to bottom. So my very first picture is going to go in the top on the left. Now, the next image or picture that I have shows the mom and the seven kids at the end playing with the wolf. Would this go next in my sequence? No, so I'm gonna set that down to the side and I'm gonna grab another picture. This next plot or part of event that happened in the story was when mom came home and found the baby, the seventh kid, still hiding in the grandfather clock. Did this come next? Nope, so I'm gonna set that one down and I'm gonna pull up my next one, next part of the plot that I haven't figured out. So this one shows the wolf going to the miller or the baker to coat his paws. Did that happen next in the story? Yes, I found my next piece of my story. So I'm going to put that on the right side of my paper, but still up at the top, because remember, we read from left to right. So now 
I'm going to go back to the next piece, which I know was where the mom found the kid in the grandfather clock. And I'm going to attach that to my paper. And I know that that's going to go on the bottom left. So now I have one, two, three parts of my story completed. So now I know when I pick up my last piece that that's the last part of the story. And that's going to go on my paper on the bottom right. So now, now I've got one, two, three, four. I've got all parts of my story together. And we're going to tell the story based off the pictures. So at the beginning, Mama Goat tells her seven kids, I'm going off into the woods. Whatever you do, don't let the wolf in the house. Well, the wolf we know has been trying to get into the house, and those kids are smart. They know that his voice is not like mom's, that his paws are gray and not white like mom's. So he goes to the miller and the baker to coat his paws and make them look white. We come down to this page. We know that the wolf tricked the kids and got inside and all the kids hid and the wolf found them all except for the last one who was hiding in the grandfather clock. So mom in the seventh, the baby kid, they go off to find the others. They found the wolf and the kids sleeping. And mom realized that the wolf just wanted to play with the kids. So now they are all playing in the woods with the wolf, who they found out was really nice and just wanted to be their friends. So today... I want you to take a piece of paper and you're going to draw a line down the center, draw a line across, and you're going to have four boxes. I want you to draw a picture and retell the story of the wolf and the seven kids.